Hello and welcome back to another Jet 2 Guy video. So today is going to be the second update uh, of my training and uh, I'm going to be talking about the two exams I just sat. Um, they're fairly easy. Um, so in Canada, to get your student pilot permit, you need to sit uh, the P-Star and the radio restricted, R-O-C-A exams um from they were they were just issued here so they took about 25 minutes in total to do both of them and i revised from them just from half's uh, website which is pilottraining.ca um has a good course and yeah i've been slowly revising for them for about three months um you definitely don't need that long uh, that was just uh, me just taking my time um, spreading it out really but now I'm cramming in PPL content for the written and I've just started learning this now this um, it plays backwards on camera I presume um, I'm even having trouble looking at the camera um, but uh, this is the POH now pilot operating handbook for the Cessna 152 now the POH um, contains everything you need to know about flying the Cessna. Really, well, not flying. Uh, yeah, I mean, all the technical side, um, really. And I've just started memorising emergency procedures. My instructor said I could be solo, depending if I'm good enough flying um, in two, three weeks. So that'd be nice. Two week, two weeks from now, solo get lucky weather and yeah if I screw my head on with just really revising hard um, like now I've just been doing uh, chair flying which is where you just sit in a, uh, a copy of a stationary aircraft on the ground and pretend you're flying um, that, was, that was quite fun uh, just doing the emergency procedures so I've learnt the first three which is uh, engine failure on takeoff, immediately on the crew on ground run, uh, immediately after takeoff and during cruise flight, and um, yeah, so I'll move on to crossing landings um, with power and uh, landings without power, and then ditching um, as well. Those will be the next three I learn, um, and yeah, I think there's about 16 in total. I need to know, not not too sure, um, but uh, yeah, I'll learn that. Um, but yeah, that's all, that's all the update in terms of the weather. Um, it cooled down a bit, we had a cold front passing through yesterday. So it's gone from about 32 to about 20. So, um, but it's getting hot again next week, really hot. Cooking up to mid 30s again. Um, so some records could actually be broken for those of you who are interested. But uh, I'm not gonna be making other content until it starts to look like anything below 10 degrees it's coming like proper proper winter from English that's proper winter but um you usually in the central prairies you'd get large springs between positive 10 15 to minus 2 minus 3 you can you can get that um similar on other places like Denver you'd get that kind of scenario um but yeah so it should be quite exciting when it actually happens when you actually get that first snowfall but uh yeah I've got about month and a bit so I start to see snow and start to use winter ops with flying but uh, I'll be well past the by that point and on my way to complete my PPL uh, flight test uh, hopefully I should have done the room by that point as well um, yeah I've got an aiming point of completing my PPL November December yeah all right thanks for watching this update if you enjoyed it it's not much is it but uh yeah, I'll try and post a solo video if I can remember it. <laughs> Putting a GoPro in the cockpit, but uh, yeah. Alright, see you later.